Hey folks, it's IOE thrown back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin. He is in his T-34-85M. 35, I, I know what the tank is called, I swear. <laughs> it's a tier 6 game on Glacier. Um, and uh, we're really going to see what this thing can do. Looks like he's got two marks of excellence on this thing. Uh, this is a tier 6 premium tank. Um, though a bunch of us got it given away for doing something, I want to say, over the summer. Or maybe it was last year or sometime. I don't remember. I remember I got it given to me, um, and I don't remember what I did for it. So, anyways, um, if you're looking for a good, um, Clan Wars tank for, or not, yeah, Clan Wars, anything competitive around Tier 6, this is actually a great all-around tank. If you um, you want a medium tank that's got a little bit of heaviness to it and a decently punchy gun, um, and so you got something tier six competitive, you're not really sure what you want to bring. Grab this thing if you have it, and you you it's hard to go wrong. Um, our ally has already died by crashing, and apparently he's blaming lag. So we're off to a great start, and we're. Uh, we're, uh, we're gonna go so well this game, right? Um, so I just want to say if you guys want to see me dying a ton um, in, in really comedic ways, and then you want to go check out the um, From Ashes Reborn Minecraft CTM experience, which is uh, <laughs> currently got episode 4 out, and, uh, and they're about 10 minutes long, so they're, they're just like snippets of awesomeness. Um, and so yeah. Okay, I don't know what he was doing, but he's dead now. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> the M4A1s are just dying in stupid ways. And that's the M3 Lee that is also dead. Okay, apparently they're not paying attention where they're going either. Or lagging out really badly, maybe? I don't I don't get it. I don't know what's going on exactly. But yeah, okay. And the, the Chi 2 is just gonna get park itself up in a spot where we can shoot it to death as well. And so this is the armor of the T34 coming into play now. We've walked 780 damage so far, which is more than our health pool. Um, and that's just people shooting at us and bouncing off the front. Uh, if this thing's angled, it can bounce quite a nice amount. Unfortunately, <laughs> does get emeracked in some really interesting ways. Cheeto dies, and now it's the Churchill 3's turn, who's not even looking at us. I mean, he's trying to look at us, but he's not. And, uh, and now he's dead. So we didn't get the kill for that one, sadly. Oh, look! T-40! Looking in the right direction, but not aimed in yet, I guess. Or we didn't pop up until just then, I guess? Maybe? Maybe the consumer's good enough on this thing. That uh, it took a few seconds. Um, <laughs> she just drives past the M5. <laughs> because why stop an aim, right? Hetzer, Hetzer is going to try and hetz us. Unfortunately for the Hetzer, uh, this is not a tank that's going to hetz particularly easily. Also, artillery just made him regret that. And uh, that is the end of the Hetzer. Whoa! Okay, you get to die next. And I think that's actually the end of all their tanks in this area. The last two tanks are, yep, there's the last tank right over there on the, the um, where the heavies battle it out, so that is probably going to be the end of the game. Wow! That was intense, short, and awesome. I really enjoyed that game. Thank you, Alex, for saying that in. Um, apparently this is going to be a shorter <laughs> video than normal. Um, so I guess I'll take a few seconds. I wish there was on a tree inside us right now. You're, you're not going to stop at a spot when there's not a tree, are you? Um, oh well, whatever. Uh, can we see the some places he got, he, he ricocheted shots. So there and there. So you, even though people are shooting for his supposed weak points, they're, I don't think they're actually weak points, and they're not really going to go through. Uh, basically, um, as long as you're not going to tank something like this, because of the fact that it's a Russian tank and it's got these beautiful sides on it, um, then, like, I mean, even the lower glacis is angled so well that even if they, they get a shot into it, unless they're um, flat with you or 
uh, a little bit beneath you if they're at all something like this and they're just gonna ricochet rounds off you like mad um, obviously could pull big and obviously weak but the rest of the tank is not and it's it's quite a nice machine again I mean, if you want to specialize in something you know what you want to specialize in then that's great and you can get destroy tier 6 in competitive play like that but if you're not sure or if you're just playing for fun or you're normally a you know a tank destroyer player or a heavy player um, and then go ahead and pick this thing up if you want to get into the mediums and it will serve you really well so we're gonna jump over and see what his results were so ace tanker hand of God spotter bruiser to us fire for effect show proof seven bonds of a tier 6 game he gets a Radley Walters, a Scout Metal, Steel Wall, High Cover, and a Top Gun. Holy smokes. Um, and everything that he spotted was, <laughs> it was something killed except for the Churchill, who he tried to kill, but wasn't, uh, sadly it wasn't fast enough on the trigger to beat his ally to the punch. Wow. Um, so, normally this game would be something I'd show off for like a Friday or a Saturday as like, you know, the game of the week kind of thing because it was amazing but 90% of this game wasn't Alex being amazing it was the enemy team being so horrible that Alex just looked so beautiful and spectacular by comparison I mean seriously like the, the MA-A1 died because he didn't bother stopping and he rammed himself to death on us it's almost the same with him uh, the, the rest of them like it, it yeah, that, I didn't see any skill in any of these guys. If it wasn't their first day playing the game, I'd be surprised with some of these guys. Or for maybe first week. Um, and Alex has obviously been playing a lot longer than that. And so the skill matchup was just so incredibly off, off, right? But overall, I mean, this was a great game and something that everybody wants. And I've always wanted to have a game like this because... Wouldn't that make you feel amazing? I know it would make me feel amazing if I you know, just walk through the enemy team, killing them right, left, and center without bothering to pause or worry. Uh, <laughs> never feel like you're in danger. And make a ton of credits. Um, another thing this thing is good at is making credits, as you can see. Well done, Alex. Thank you for this great game. Um, good lord. <laughs> This, this is just like a barrel of laughs, and, and I'm so glad that it happened to you, man. Uh, I wish it happened to me. <laughs> I'm sure everybody out there wishes the same thing. Um, but this was awesome. Thank you for showing this to us. And uh, have a great day, all. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. It's IOE throughout. out.